So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing our conjunction of Saturn and Moon. But Saturn and Moon in the 6th house. And as all of you do not know, if you have this particular conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, for that, check out the links here, karasastrology.com, where you'll find my books, reports, consultation, and link to my academy, Mahakavya Astrology Academy, where you'll find all kinds of courses, including my self-advastu course. So, Moon and Saturn in the sixth. So sixth house is what? Sixth house is spending karma. Number one. It also represents the house of work. Competition. It is the bhagya of your work. How lucky can you be in your career is the sixth house. Sixth house is also health. Sixth house is the nutrition. Sixth house is where the food is being digested. Okay. So you have Saturn moon there. And of course, um, it's going to differ based on the degrees of uh, Saturn and moon. Which one is behind, which one is forward. But one thing you will notice, okay, my daughter's friends are here. I think you can hear them in the back. Yeah, you can. So the first thing you will see that there is a pending karma towards mother in this person's life. They'll have to serve and take care of the mother. Even despite the animosity or the lack of nourishment that comes in through the mother. Maybe mother was not able to nurture you because of her work, because of her health. But your pending karma becomes that. But not only that. Bending karma is towards serving people at no cost. Meaning, regardless of what career you do, with this particular placement, you'll see a lot of people in food industry, a lot of people in serving industry, nonprofit organization, you know, but also uh, one of the big things we see is nursing and entertainment. You will see these people become very good with entertaining people. Why? Because an entertainer with this type of a conjunction becomes an entertainer because they want to uplift people. They're doing something for the society. They don't just want to entertain for no purpose. They want to entertain for a certain type of people who are feeling low. That is becomes their inner motivation. Then, you know, there are a lot of people suffering. A lot of people dealing with health issues, mental issues. Let me help them and entertain them. And let, the reason why I said especially nursing, because moon is nourishment. Like just nurturing something. Right? Moon originally rules the fourth house. Saturn is work. Work to nourish people in a service-like form. And more than a doctor, it is nurse who really does that. Even if, if it's a corporate setting nowadays. It's a corporate world with full of legalities, you know, because I even saw that, saw that with my own sister's situation, <laughs> what they can and can't do. It just, uh, yeah, that, that as I can, I can feel that the nurse wants to do more, but sometimes they're not able to. But what I say about that selfless work, meaning like doing something at no cost, you must volunteer. This will, act, like volunteering, and even at some guru's ashram. So when they come in, you volunteer for three, four days, helping with the cooking, helping with the cleaning. You volunteer at places of senior, especially senior mothers, at a, some kind of a nursing home, senior citizen home. Just go there one day and you must help. And one of the best days would be either Saturday or Monday. Saturn and moon. But see, Saturn being the significator of work. This person, you will feel that they work more than anybody else because when they work, the melancholy gets occupied by work. So you will see very hardworking people in this particular situation. But like I also said, 
they can become great entertainers. Part of their uh, career can be entertaining, but also um, they become excellent teachers. They become excellent teachers, advisors, counselors, even psychologists, psychiatrists. So you will really see them in this sixth house area. Now, of course, you know, um, if other planets are conjunct, let's say, for example, you know, here you get these two planets surrounded with Ketu and, Ju uh, Ketu and Jupiter, they can maybe even become a, a humanitarian lawyer. But the main thing becomes to serve others. Like even if this person, let's say if it's a female star, they become a mother, they have their family. You will see such people. They will first serve everybody before they nourish, in, nourish themselves. It's like the natural duty they feel in their life. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Saturn moon in the sixth house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your yeah. family is placed, along with all your slot details, go ahead and share. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.